Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So, uh, we had started the ecological anthropology and uh, we had taken a brief outlook of what ecological anthropology is all about. So, basically in ec ecological anthropology we were trying to study how man interacts with its environment and man always obviously because man is a subset of the environment right. Environment may there are other animals hai? then there is humans also right and environment ka ek subset is is man right. So, man tries to uh, you know increase its survivability in the environment and and how through biological either through its biology or through its culture. So, now this is what we have to study that how man has tried to you know adapt to uh, through its biology as well as through its culture how has it adapted to the environment. Okay? So, that is what we are going to study. So, humans have occupied a wide range of habitats because of their ability to intervene the environment. We know that man basically you know we are uh, warm we are warm blooded right we are warm blooded mammals and we are mostly you can say we are the tropical being why because we know that our, our history of evolution starts from uh, a ancestor which was there from the Africa. So, we can say Hamari jo ek body type hai that is mostly suited to a tropical subtropical kind of a climate. We were not suitable for maybe an arctic region, but you very well know that today man lives in arctic also right. Ab mein ye, we, we, we would not say that lot of population lives in the arctic, but nevertheless there are uh, tribes like Inuits are there right and there are many others who live only in the arctic regions. They uh, we are living in every uh, continent possible. So, this is why this is uh, this has been possible because the man has been able to intervene or rather I should say manipulate the environment right through living non living any other uh, reasons right. So, this approach is largely based on adaptability that means we have been able to successfully adapt right which regards individuals as being equipped with a set of biological traits that provides means of survival that means we uh, are able to live from the tropics to the temperates to the polar regions we have been able to live everywhere majorly through adaptation to those areas and this adaptation could be biological as well as cultural. Okay? Now, you should understand there are two three terms that that are uh, you know you can understand is acclimatization and the other term is adjustment. Okay? So, uh, these terms you should understand before we go to the next part. Okay? So, you can say in adaptability if we have to adapt adaptability we talk about acclimatization as well as adjustment. So, you can say that acclimatization is a, a temporary kind of a phenomena okay? and individual will uh, revert back to its original environment. For example, we say that if you go to a hilly region, pe there is less oxygen available. right? So, you try to uh, respire quite fast. right? But once you are there for like an hour or so, you, you start to acclimatize to that area, right. So, that is what is acclimatization is all about. And adjustment you can say is cultural, hai? cultural uh, if you have to talk about culturally uh, adjustment can be done to, an, to a region. For example, eating certain kind of a diet, wearing certain kind of a dresses, right. 
So, now what kind of certain what certain for example, the kind of adjustment you will make in a hot environment is not the same that you are going to make in a cold environment right. So, ye hum sab, ye humko padna hai abhi, that what kind of adjustments what kind of acclimatization we do in the hot regions what kind of we uh, uh, adjustments we make in the cold regions, but now just focus what we are trying to understand here right. So, man has tried to successfully live in every part of the world majorly due to intervening the environment and it has done so through biology matlab, uh, uh, adaptations in its biology and adaptations in its culture. Hai? So, if we talk about uh, it involves physiological that means physical changes, structural, behavioral and cultural changes aimed at improving the organism's functional performance in the face of environmental stress. That means, if there is any environmental stress, we will take either physiological change karenge, hum kuch behavioral change karenge, cultural change karenge and through this we have tried to adapt. These adjustments can either be temporary, jaise humne bola abhi acclimatization ho sakta hai or they could be permanent changes. Now, how permanent changes we will talk about this, theek hai? acquired either through a short term or a lifetime process. That means, it could be a temporary change in our body, it could be a temporary change in our food uh, kind of a thing and it could be a long term or more permanent kind of a change also. Hai? So, thereby expressed in terms of phenotypic variation. That means, sometimes obviously, uh, if, if there is a permanent change in our body type, hai? So, fir obviously, it will have a phenotypic variation to us, right. That means, a person, jaise hum bol sakte hai ki person living in predominantly tropical regions are darker in color as compared to people living in more temperate regions, jo thode white hote hai. And that is because of the uh, sun rays or, or the kind of sunlight received in those regions. And it has made a permanent phenotypic variation. Hai na? Humne races mein padha na? The uh, ek, uh, difference, primary difference between the Caucasians and Negroid was their color. So, that means it has made a phenotypic variation in us, right. So, it, it, it can be that and then it could be acclimatization or learned behavior also. Learned behavior is something that you that is not changing uh, something physically in you, but that is just a learnt behavior. That means, uh, jaise uh, when anybody who would visit Leh or Ladakh region, they are advised not to run around, right, or or sit back uh, in uh, somewhere for some time so that their body starts to acclimatize because there is so much, uh, there is so less oxygen available, right. So this is what this is learned behavior, right. So decades of research has affirmed that biological plasticity or physiological acclimatization in species, wide adaptive mechanisms enables individuals to maintain internal constancy or homeostasis. Now, you should understand there are two, three things that is it is talking about. There are two kind of organisms, one, uh, one and in the most simplistic way I am explaining you, you do not need to mug this up and understand this, this is not going to come in the paper, this is just for your understanding. There are complex organisms and there are simple organisms, theek hai? Complex organisms are those like humans and many other mammals, they are those uh, organisms which maintain a internal constant body temperature, theek hai? Ek internal constant body temperature hai, theek hai? Which, which, which you can also call as the ambient body temperature also. Okay, I am not exactly remembering, but kuch, I think 22 degree or 23 degree, uh, 21, 22 degree in case of humans, hota hai, but you should check it, I am not able to remember it. Okay, so any deviation from this temperature in the external world, hai, our body starts to uh, maintain it to this ambient temperature. Hai? So, if there is lot of heat or if there is a cold, anything is there body tries to come back to this homeostasis. Homeostasis matlab that ambient uh, temperature of the body that we are talking about. Hai? So, that is why we are making adaptations or acclimatization adjustment to bring our body back to the homeostasis. And this is, uh, this is a phenomena in the 
complex organisms whereas in simple organisms it doesn't happen like this in simple organisms they try to maintain their body to simply to the outer uh, temperature that means just say for example there are burrowing uh, जो बरो बरोइंग एनिमल्स होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉकरोच हो गए एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट वो क्या करते हैं दे गो इन टू हाइबर नेशन वेन द टेम्परेचर्स आर नॉट सूटेबल फॉर दैम राइट सो दिस इज देयर वे ऑफ एक्लेमेटाइजिंग ठीक है एंड एंड एवरी एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म वे ऑफ एक्लेमेटाइजिंग एक्लेमेटाइजिंग टू एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रेसिस मेड वाया एनवायरमेंट इज डिफरेंट सो इन केस ऑफ humans it is the homeostasis that means we try to bring back the external temperature or we try to maintain an ambient body temperature jo humans mein set hota hai theek hai it's like setting your ac to 24 degrees celsius theek hai na so whatever the temperature outside is aap jab bhi ac lagaoge it will keep your temperature to 24 degree right so it's like that theek hai so ab kya hota hai ab ye homeostasis humko maintain karna hai so then we have to bring appropriate amount of changes in the body theek okay? hai now i'll i'll bring you back to the picture but first understand so we do, we do that so through the biology and we'll talk about that and culture is also a uh, another way that we do it that is why it is also known as biocultural adaptation theek okay? hai isiliye is adaptation ko we also call is that biocultural theek okay? hai and culture you know is a complex entity ठीक है इट इट इनकम्पैसिस टेक्नोलॉजिकल इन्वेंटिवनेस दैट मीन्स थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी ए सी इज वॉट टेक्नोलॉजी हीटर इज वॉट टेक्नोलॉजी राइट देन देर आर सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशंस बिलीफ सिस्टम्स ठीक है आप सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशंस कल्चर में आपका फूड हैबिट्स आ जाएंगी क्लोदिंग पैटर्न आ जाएंगे ठीक है दीज आर ऑल्सो थिंग्स दैट अफेक्ट आर अडेप्टेबिलिटी टू एन एनवायरमेंट ठीक है एंड दिस फ्रॉम हंटिंग एंड गैदरिंग to agriculture theek hai on a global scale from housing types various housing types like the very uh, uh, old living in the caves kind of theek hai habitation to thatched huts to skyscraper buildings today right and clothing theek hai these are all the human ways of adapting culture is a learned procedure and passed on from generation to generation ठीक है एंड इट शेप्स पीपल्स परसेप्शन टूवर्ड्स द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट नाउ यू नो दैट एवरी प्लेस कल्चर इज डिफरेंट बट कल्चर इज मेड इन द यूनिक सेटिंग्स आल्सो ना एंड दोज यूनिक सेटिंग्स इज आल्सो द एनवायरमेंट सो लार्जली हमारे कल्चर में वॉट वी हैव विच इज लर्न एंड पास ऑन फ्रॉम जनरेशन टू जनरेशन हैज टू डू विद द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ दैट रीजन राइट सो दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड सो ओवर past several million years of human evolution biology and culture have interacted in such a manner that humans are said to be a product of biocultural evolution so you understand both have very important role to play that is why it is called as the biocultural evolution now let's go to the first kind of environmental stress that is the heat stress that means how the human body reacts to एनी हीटेड एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज एज आई टोल्ड यू एक बॉडी हमारी बॉडी का एक होम्योस्टैसिस होता है द एम्बियन बॉडी टेम्परेटैसिस द एम्बियन बॉडी टेम्परेचर दैट इट हैज़ टू मेनटेन सो वट एवर इफ द टेम्परेचर गोज बियॉन्ड दिस एम्बियंट टेम्परेचर इन द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड आर बॉडी ट्राइज टू वॉट विल द बॉडी ट्राई अब क्या होगा इफ द हीट इज मोर इन द आउटर एनवायरमेंट तो यू विल फील द हीट you will start to your body temperature will start to rise so in that case we have to lose the heat so hamari body kuch heat loss mechanisms ko you know it starts to generate certain heat loss mechanisms and this is the biological aspect of it abhi hum culture ki baat nahi kar rahe how cultural stress uh, how culture can help us adapt to hotter uh, environment wo that is another thing that we will study but first we are trying to study the biological part so if i have to give it for, uh, to your understanding we can just say if there is a human adaptation human adaptation to heat you can just uh, bifurcate into two parts one is the uh, you can say the biological response
and second one is the cultural response. So, cultural response we are not going to do today, we will do it tomorrow with the next uh, uh, adaptation to cold ke saath we will uh, do cultural response to uh, heat also. Today we are going to uh, study biological response. Okay? So, now in biological response you have to remember what our body tries to do basically. Okay? So, let us start with it. So, our body kya karti hai? Just, uh, just understand there are various mechanisms by which our body tries to reduce or lose the heat that we are trying we are gaining. So, humans maintain a relatively constant internal body temperature we have talked about it independent of inter environmental temperature through a complex mechanism of heat gain and heat loss. So, jab cold hoga to body will try to produce heat right or gain heat. So, so that hum, we are able to protect our protect ourselves from the extreme cold okay? in and, and uh, it would be vice versa in the case of hot climate. So, hot climate may the fundamental response of human is to reduce the heat or heat dissipation that means, we try to minimize the heat okay? and this we are able to do with the help of radiation, conduction, convection and evaporation. So, do not worry now what is this what what all it is we are going to study do not worry about that. So, kya hota hai? Ab, ab, the basic point is we have to lose the heat. So, biological or physiological response may physiological response may we are trying to reduce the heat in the body right. So, what what are we going to basically do is first thing is sweating. Na? Sweating se kya hoga? What what will sweating do? Basically, body uh, you know when when heat loads heat load increases in the body, to isse kya hoga? temperature will go up. So, sweating reduces the temperature of the body. So, that is why we sweat. So, so, this is very important and sweating is done through a process jo aap bol sakte ho, which is like first you will understand ki aapka environment is getting heated up and that will that will be sensed by a thermoreceptor in your body. So, aapki body basically kya hai? Matlab your skin right your body will start to in uh, uh, Affect, get affected by that and that will in turn activate your hypothalamus. So, you can just say you can just remember it like that ki jab aapko garmi lagti hai to humare dimaag tak wo through the receptors wo information pohunchti hai and humari body ko samaj aata hai ki you know now I have to lose the heat. So, one way of doing that is through sweating. So, aapki body ke a glands sweat glands activate ho jate hai and that starts to reduce the heat theek hai na so that is one way of reducing the heat in your body theek hai that is one such way of doing it theek hai let's move on to the next then now another adaptive mechanism is the vasodilation now what happens in the vasodilation basically our blood capillaries near the skin surface widen to permit increased flow to the skin and hence enhance peripheral heat conductance. Now, what happens is uh, you can say that when your hypothalamus is activated, your peripheral vas vasodilation also increases. So, heat loss through the skin hoti hai. Jaise for example, uh, okay. So, Hamne baat kari, aapki body ne respond, uh, your body started to get heat from the outside world. Hai? So, thermoreceptors got activated through the thermoreceptors send, sent the information. Hai? Hypothalamus got, uh, got activated. Hai? Hypothalamus activate ho gaya. Hai? Iske baad vasodilation started to happen. Vasodilation ho gaya, that means uh, blood capillaries now peripheral region mein they are sending the blood and all. Hai? This will 
हेल्प टू रिड्यूस द हीट सो इससे हीट लॉस होता है ठीक है सो दिस इज अनदर वे दैट योर बॉडी रिड्यूस द हीट देन द अनदर वन इज द स्किन कलर दैट इज ऑल्सो एन अडेप्टिव मेकेनिज्म टू टू डिस्टिंक्ट क्लाइमेट कंडीशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट कि यू वी रेज होती है एंड देर आर सो मच ऑफ सन लाइट इन द ट्रॉपिकल रीजन दैट मेलिन प्रोडक्शन इन द बॉडी इंक्रीजेस सो मेलिन पिगमेंटेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई मिलेनोसाइट्स प्रेजेंट बिनीथ द स्किन सर्फिस यू कैन से प्रोटेक्ट फ्रॉम द ओवर एक्सपोजर टू द यू वी रेडिएशन विच कैन कॉज कैंसरस म्यूटेशन दैट इज वाई द पीपल हु आर लिविंग इन आर्कटिक आर लिटिल वाइट मतलब नॉट लिटिल वाइट बट दे आर वाइट बिकॉज दे डू नॉट नीड सो मच ऑफ मेलिन इन द बॉडी ठीक है ना बिकॉज सो मच ऑफ यू वी रेज आर एज सच नॉट रीचिंग देयर बॉडी राइट सो दैट इज अनदर वे टू रिड्यूस नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वन थिंग दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड इज द एलन रूल एंड बर्गमेंट्स रूल ये हमने दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल इन द कोल्ड एनवायरमेंट जो हम कल पढ़ेंगे एंड ऑल्सो इन द हॉट एनवायरमेंट ऑल्सो सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट यू कैन से बायोलॉजिकल अडेप्टेशन हाउ जस्ट सी What is Bergman rule? It is a eco-geographical principle that states within uh, states that within broadly distributed taxonomical clade, population and species of larger size are found in colder and smaller size are formed in uh, found in warmer regions. So basically, क्या बोल रहा है? Long and short, it is saying जो equator के पास uh, areas है ना, ठीक है? If there there are animals that are living near the equator. ठीक है दे दे आर गोइंग टू हैव लार्जर सॉरी दे आर गोइंग टू हैव अ स्मॉलर बॉडी टाइप एंड जो आर्कटिक में रहेंगे ना दे आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लार्जर बॉडी साइज इससे क्या होता है बेसिकली वेन यू हैव अ स्मॉलर बॉडी मतलब बॉडी साइज सो दैट विल हेल्प यू टू डिसिपेट हीट फास्टर ठीक है ना एज कंपेयर टू अ लार्जर बॉडी टाइप एंड दैट विल प्रिवेंट यू फ्रॉम Uh, gaining lot of heat so this is one principle that is bergman's rule and then there is allen rule also which says that as you go on progressively from uh, you know uh, arctic regions to the desert regions the extremities start to in uh, you know get longer and your body starts to get leaner तो क्या बोल रहा है बेसिकली इट इज सेइंग जो आर्कटिक में होंगे यू कैन सी इफ दिस इज सम आर्कटिक रीजन का इसके जस्ट लुक एट हिज ईयर जस्ट लुक एट हिज यू कैन से ईयर्स आर्म्स लेग्स ठीक है ना ईयर्स आर्म्स लेग्स आर एक्सट्रीमिटीज दैट मींस व्हिच इज पेरिफेरल टू योर बॉडी है ना नॉट नॉट नियर योर बॉडी थोड़ा पेरीफरी एरिया में आता है ठीक है इसको देखो इसके कान देखो कितने बड़े हैं राइट जस्ट लुक एट द ईयर एंड लेग्स दैट मीन्स एज यू गो ऑन टू वर्ड्स द ट्रॉपिक्स ठीक है योर बॉडी बिकम्स लीन एंड योर एक्सट्रीमिटीज बिकम लॉन्ग सो इससे क्या होगा बेसिकली वेन योर योर एक्सट्रीमिटीज बिकम लॉन्ग एंड लीन इससे आपका बॉडी का सर्फेस एरिया इंक्रीज हो जाता है दैट मीन्स आपके पास ज़्यादा सर्फेस एरिया है ना योर आर्म्स आर लॉन्ग योर फी योर लेग्स आर लॉन्ग योर यहाँ से हीट डिसिपेशन होता है ऑब्वियसली पेरिफेरल एरिया है वहाँ से हीट डिसिपेट होगा बॉडी से तो जितना ज़्यादा होगा उतना ज़्यादा हीट डिसिपेशन होता है राइट सो दिस इज़ द एलन एंड बर्गमेंट रूल सो आई होप यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड जो हमने बायोलॉजिकल अडेप्टेशन पढ़े हैं टू हीटेड रीजन्स इसमें हमने एक स्वेटिंग पढ़ा वी स्टडीड अबाउट स्वेटिंग देन वी स्टडीड अबाउट एलन रूल एंड बर्गमिन रूल हाउ दिस वर्क then we talked about uh, vasodilation this is another way uh, my body respond karti hai uh, to uh, you know cold cold regions and then there is a skin color also theek hai na so this is primarily how our body responds to a uh, a hot environment through its biology and tomorrow we'll study the uh, the cultural adaptations also i hope there is no doubt in this uh, and and if there is i know thoda allen or bergman rule difficult hoga to understand but we'll do it tomorrow again and 3 4 days we are going to do is uh, do all of this as it is so if any doubt if there is in this topic it would get cleared in the next lectures okay so i hope you guys liked it and if you did please like share and subscribe thank you